Hello my friends, this is Eric Merritt at Daz3D and in this video we're going to talk about light presets. To find your light presets you need to make sure you're in the lights and cameras activity. You've got the lights tab selected and you're in the presets page rather than the editor page. Um, we've got four light presets in this group of content um, and these are all designed um, by the uh, set creator for Alchemy Chasm to be used with this Alchemy Chasm set. Let's zoom out and frame that a little bit. So you see that it is lit, but it's only lit by the default lighting inside of Daz Studio, which is called the headlamp. Now the headlamp is just like wearing a lamp on your head. So wherever you look, it's going to light it up. You'll notice we don't look in any shadows. You don't see any shadows as you spin that around. Well, that's not the case with normal lighting. So let's add a light preset and get some lights in there. Um, everything in our scene is there, but no lights. Double click on the light preset get this nice yellowy glow. It looks really cool in there. And you'll notice you get six lights that have been added to your scene. Um, those lights will be replaced by a new set when you double click on it. So let's do that. Light one. Watch. Boom! Whole new set of lights. Everything that was there before is deleted. Now that's something that's very important for you to know. If you've been working on a, setting up your own custom lights and then you think, oh, I'll try this light preset and you go and do it and it replaces your lights and you ruin all your, all your work is gone, that can be very frustrating. So what we want to make sure you know how to do is set up your own light preset. First of all, let's take all the stuff, all the lights, and let's delete them. You can either hit your delete key or right click and say remove items from scene. So you notice the, the uh, headlamp, the default lighting for studio comes right back on when there's no lights in the scene. Studio smart enough to know you don't want to be sitting in the dark. All right, so let's add another light and create our own light uh, preset. Let's go in here and select the new linear point light, which I really like. Very dark, right? This preview lights button is what turns on or off the lights in your scene, or at least the preview of those lights. And you can switch to your headlamp mode just by clicking that right there. And when you set up a new light, like something that's really dim, like this point light, it's very handy to turn that off so you can see how to position it in your scene. Because what I want to do is I want to get this light positioned right up against the staff. Let's frame that. Right up against that staff. Now that's pretty close. That's good, probably good enough. Let's zoom out. And let's turn the preview lights button on. Yeah, good effect. That's what I want. So let's save that out as a preset. And we're going to select that button right there. And we only want the current frame. And the selected light, which is the light that we just set up, is the one that's selected. And I want to save that. Now what's going to happen is it's going to recommend a folder for you to save that in. And that's in your My Library Presets. And it gives you a Lights folder, which is exactly where we want to save it. So let's call it Staff Light. And hit Save. Now when we go back to our presets page, um, if we're just in a presets we don't see it because what happens when you save it out it gets dumped in this unassigned area until you get it, put it in a category. Um, you can also click all and you'll see all of them there. But will it work just like the other presets? Let's try it. Okay, there's one and there's ours back again. So you've just done your own light preset. I hope that gives you a good overview of light presets. and. Uh, I would try to save out your light setups as presets so you can always reuse them, and we'll see you next time.